Have you ever wondered how your room temperature can affect your concentration levels? Recently in one of my videos I talked about how having a warmer room helps improve your concentration. But is that really true? So recently I had uh, some university exams and there were some days when my concentration was awful like that of a goldfish. And I tried using a rule called the five minute rule which Thomas Frank talks about where basically you're tricking your brain into thinking it only needs to work for five minutes. You give yourself permission to stop working after five minutes. But usually, once you've done that five minutes, you're in the zone and able to keep going. So it's just a way of getting you into your work. And I tried that rule and I made it to three minutes before I was just off and couldn't do anything about my work. And I thought to myself at the end of that day, what is wrong with me? Why can I not concentrate to save my life? Well, partly it was due to some of the more boring topics I was doing in my degree but also it was because my room temperature was too cold. So after doing some research around that time, um, I intentionally worked in a room that was more like 18 to 20 degrees, so it was a bit warmer than what I was originally working in, and I found that my concentration levels definitely improved. So naturally my immediate assumption was the warmer the room, the better your concentration. And that's certainly easier to say in winter when you're just trying to keep yourself as warm as you can and you know get out of the cold. But what about those very, very hot summer days? Well, as you most likely know, in the heat, it's really hard to concentrate as well, mainly because your brain starts to get quite slow and tired almost. And you almost feel a sense of grogginess. And again, you struggle to concentrate. So I decided to do a little bit more research. And here's what I found. So fundamentally, when you are cold, your body naturally works to make yourself warm again by shivering, your hair follicles stand up, and you have things called vasoconstriction. And all of this requires energy. And this is energy that your body is using to heat you up rather than putting it into your brain to help you concentrate. And that is fundamentally why we struggle to concentrate when we're cold. And interestingly, I did a bit of further research and I found quite an interesting quote on, I think it's called Oxford Air Conditioning. And it said, we're also happier when we're warmer because we feel trust and empathy towards others. And these feelings are activated by the same part of the brain that recognizes warmth, which is very interesting. Now, before I start talking about specific temperatures, a caveat is everyone is different. The person who's working next to you will probably have an optimum temperature that they work at and it will likely always be different to yours. So you sort of have to think about the temperature being personal to you. Now, loads of studies have shown that about 21 to 23 degrees Celsius is sort of the optimum working condition or what's known as room temperature. However, a particular article uh, published by Cornell University, and I'll put a link to it in the description, showed that when they uh, increased the room temperature, step by step, typing errors decreased all the way up to 25 degrees still. So you can move up quite warm and still find reductions in errors and in theory therefore improve concentration. Now as you can imagine this relationship doesn't continue the warmer and warmer you get. If you were in the UK last summer you might have had to do work on some of those days when we reached 40 degrees. I know I certainly did. And in, on those days again you just cannot concentrate and that's partly similar to the reason why you can't concentrate when you're cold. Obviously when you're hot, your body is using energy to try and cool itself down by sweating and all these things. Um, but also it naturally just makes you feel more tired. So obviously there is a limit with this temperature thing. So do bear these facts in mind when you are trying to work. If you work in an office, I did a bit of research and the HSC, which is the UK sort of government for health and safety at work, says that the minimum office temperature has to be 16 degrees, which is still lower for concentration. However, most offices will always heat their offices higher because there's so much evidence to show that warmer rooms improve their concentration and reduce errors. So you'll, you'll generally be okay if you're working in an office. Now, if like me, you're a university student and you can't really afford to heat your house all the time, especially not up to 21 degrees, then I strongly recommend you go to the library for the similar reasons they can have to heat it and it really helps students to concentrate better. Um, I know I've certainly found that during my exam season. And if you have to work from home and you are struggling to heat your house, a fun tip I came across was that you could get into a sleeping bag and put a hot water bottle at the bottom. And naturally through convection, obviously the heat will rise from the bottom up the sleeping bag and hopefully keep you toasty for a bit longer. You will obviously have to sort of reheat it up every now and then, but that could be a good way of keeping you warm whilst working from home. So this video idea came from a previous video that I made about how to set up a work environment for peak concentration where one of the elements was the temperature of your room. Now, if you want to watch that video, I'll just put it up here. Um, it sort of just talks about other ways, including this, of making your concentration levels slightly higher to help you at work or your studies. 
So if you've made it this far, thank you so much, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.